Hello friends, today we will see two problems each on Hermite cubic spline and cubic Bezier curve. So first problem is on Hermite cubic spline which reads find the midpoint of a Hermite cubic spline with the two endpoints as 1, 1, 6, 5 and corresponding tangent vectors as 0, 4 and 4, 0. So what we have been provided with? We have been provided with the starting and ending control point coordinates and starting and ending tangent vectors so x0 is 1 y0 is 1 x1 is 6 y1 is 5 x0 dash is 0 y0 dash is 4 and x1 dash is 4 and y1 dash is 0 so we know that the hermite cubic spline equation in matrix form okay, is given as p of u uh, is equal to u cube u square u1 which is a row matrix multiplied by the blending function coefficient matrix that is 2 minus 2 1 1 minus 3 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 0 1 0 and 1 0 0 0 multiplied by the starting and ending point that is control point and starting and ending tangent vector so it is p0 p1 p0 dash p1 dash now we have been asked to find out the midpoint coordinates okay midpoint coordinates so this is possible with two methods okay i can either put uh, separate x values okay x coordinate values in this matrix find the x coordinate okay then separately put y coordinate values in this matrix and find the y coordinate or the y midpoint coordinate so this is the first method or else i can put both x and y coordinates at the same time and make this matrix as uh, 4 by 2 okay currently it is 4 by 1 okay i can make it as 4 by 2 matrix and do the multiplication at once and get both the x and y coordinates for the midpoint okay so we'll do this sum by first method that is we'll put separately x and y coordinates so i know that they have asked us to find the midpoint coordinates okay so since u is the parameter which varies from 0 to 1 so if i put u value as 0.5 Okay, I will get the midpoint equation. Okay, I will get the midpoint equation, and if I put the corresponding coordinates, okay, I will get the mid midpoint coordinates. Okay, so that's what we are going to do. So p of x, we will first do this for x coordinate. So p of x at u equal to 0.5 is given as 0.5 cube, 0.5 square, 0.5 one, multiplied by this blending function coefficient matrix, multiplied by the x coordinate. Okay, x coordinates of my uh, p0 p1 p0 dash p1 dash which are nothing but 1 6 0 4 so that's what i have written over here 1 6 0 4 so matrix multiplication is fairly easy i can do it in any sequence the order of the first row matrix is 1 by 4 this is a square matrix with 4 by 4 and this is again a column matrix with 4 by 1 i can multiply these two first and then multiply the resultant with this or i can multiply these two first and then multiply the resultant with this Okay, any which way you do, okay, the answer for p of x at u equal to 0.5 is coming to be 3. And on similar lines, when I do this with uh, the y coordinates, okay, so as you can see, y coordinates are what? 1, 5, 4, 0. So that's what I have written over here, 1, 5, 4, 0. And do the multiplication. Okay, again, my uh, u matrix, I will re replace u with 0.5. So this matrix is same even this matrix is same okay what i have to do i have to just change this matrix to its corresponding y coordinates so py at u equal to 0.5 comes out to be 3.5 and that is why the midpoint coordinates for the hermite cubic spline is r uh, that is midpoint coordinates is 3 comma 3.5 okay 3 comma 3.5 so that's the uh, question that they have asked in the uh, in this so we have found out the answer Okay, now next up we are going to see the Bezier curve, cubic Bezier curve. So the problem reads, cubic Bezier curve is defined by control points 20, 20, 60, 80, 120, 100 and 150, 30. Okay, what we have to find? We have to find the equation of the curve and its midpoint coordinates. Okay, so again we have to find out the equation of the curve in terms of its parameter so we'll have to find the u equation okay and then we'll have to also find the midpoint coordinates so it is on the similar lines of the hermite cubic spline okay with the only difference 
the difference is in terms of the square matrix that is the coefficient of lending function matrix okay this matrix has different values okay apart from the hermite cubic square so p of u is i have usual row matrix that is u cube u square u1 multiplied by the lending function coefficient matrix that is minus 1 3 minus 3 1 3 minus 6 3 0 minus 3 3 0 0 1 0 0 0 multiplied by the uh, <coughs> control points okay that is p0 p1 p2 p3 so p0 is the starting control point p3 is the ending control point p1 p2 are the intermediate control points now this time we will do this problem by the second method we will input all the uh, coordinates with its corresponding x y values in the same matrix and make this matrix as 4 by 2 order so i have this first row matrix in terms of u which is 1 by 4 that i will keep as it is because the first question says i have to find the equation of the curve so i have to find the equation of the curve in terms of u then i have this coefficient uh, of blending function matrix multiplied by the uh, coordinate matrix that is control point coordinate matrix so <coughs> 20 20 60 80 120 100 150 30 is the order of 4 by 2 i can carry out the multiplication 4 by 4 is this order 4 by 2 is this order so i can multiply my resultant matrix is going to be of the order 4 by 2 so that's what i have found minus 50 minus 50 60 minus 120 120 180 and 20 20 and this remains to be u cube u square u1 okay when i will multiply this okay i will get uh, the, the matrix of the order 1 by 2 so this is of the order 1 by 4 this is of the order 4 by 2 so when I carry out multiplication the resultant will be in of the order 1 by 2 so this row multiplied by this column will give me minus 50 u cube plus 60 u square plus 120 u plus 20 this is the x coordinate or the x equation of the uh, cubic Bezier curve and when I multiply this row with this column, I get minus 50 u cube minus 120 u square plus 180 u plus 20. This is the y equation of the cubic Bezier curve. Okay, now they have also asked us to find the midpoint coordinates. So we have already got the equation. Now equations will be different. Okay, equations will be different because we are multiplying the coordinates with the equations. Okay, with the equation. Otherwise, the equation is is uh, combined in this row matrix itself which gives u cube u square u1 okay but since we are multiplying the uh, coordinate values okay the equation is different okay equation is different for x and y coordinate otherwise the actual equation that we have studied is when we multiply these two matrices okay, whatever is retained is actually the equation of cubic Bezier curve so when I put u equal to 0.5, okay, I get the x coordinate as 88.75 and when I put u equal to 0.5 in this equation, I get y coordinate as 73.75. So we have found out the Bezier curve equation in terms of u for its x and y coordinates and also found out the midpoint coordinate by putting u equal to 0.5 in the same equation. So I hope this is understood. Okay, just to showcase what exactly we have done. So, I have just drawn the approximate Bezier curve, cubic Bezier curve. Okay, I have not followed these coordinates exactly. Okay. So, P0, P1, P2, P3. Okay, cubic Bezier curve has a property that it passes through starting and ending control point and it doesn't pass through the intermediate control point. So, as I have shown here, it is not passing through these intermediate control points. It is just going towards them okay and it's definitely passing through this uh, p0 and p3 and the 88.75 comma 73.75 which is a midpoint coordinate which will somewhere lie over here that's what we have found out so that's what we have found out so we have seen two cases the sum for hermite cubic spline and a sum for bezier cubic bezier curve okay the problems are not that difficult if you have understood the concepts very well okay the only important thing over here is to understand what are the blending functions and how they they are behaving and uh, how they are varying when you are plotting them okay so that is very important and to be able to 
write a program which will display all these curves on the graphical output screen. That is very important. So I hope you have understood this. Uh, I will see you next time with more such interesting content on CAD and computer graphics. Thank you very much.